hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it says biological boys competing versus girls is not fair caitlin jenner on leah thomas and this is from Pierce Morgans, you guys, I'm super excited as always. If you're here to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And without much ado, let's see what this video is all about. It's become one of the thorniest debates in society today. Should trans women athletes be allowed to compete in women's sport? Well, who better to talk to, frankly? I'm an Olympic gold medalist as a male athlete, and I'm going to be the most famous trans woman in the world now. Caitlin Jenner. Caitlin, I'm so happy to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Well, it is my pleasure. But first, Pierce, let's uh, let's clear the air here. Um, <clears throat> I was asked to do this show like a month ago. Um, in the last couple of weeks, I saw and I wound up canceling about two weeks ago. Why? Because I saw what she did to President Trump, our president, who I have a lot of respect for. Um, and like he was walking out, you sensationalize the promo to build up ratings and all this. And I, I thought to myself, I don't want to be part of that. And so I canceled. But since then, um, and I stand by what I did, but since then, we've had a chance to talk. I've talked to your producers. I feel pretty confident that you won't do that to me. I'm not going to over sensationalize this, Caitlin, at all. I'm delighted to have got you back on the show. And all I would say about the promo is, I know Donald Trump through Celebrity Apprentice, which I won, and he did those kind of promos on me every yeah. night to get people watching. So all's fair in love in promo. Oh, war. I get however, it. However, let's turn, let's turn to the main event of this, of this interview. You're, you're perfectly qualified, Caitlin, to talk about this because I have a strong view of that course. I support trans rights to fairness and equality, but in issues like sport and women's sport, not to the point where it starts to degrade the fairness and equality for women. You guys, before we dive into this video properly, what do you think Caitlyn Jenner is going to say in this particular debate? Do you think that Caitlyn is going to support the motion that men should participate in women's sports? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's go into this video properly. For women competitors in, in sport, for example, you've competed as a man hugely successfully um, and now you've transitioned to be a woman. What is your view about this? Well, I've been, you know, first of all, you're right. We have to, uh, we have to do the best we can here. But um, I have said from the beginning, and I stand with it, that I don't want biological boys to compete against women and girls in sports. It's just wow. not I'm very fair. Now, obviously, over yes, the last I mean. six months, especially uh, because of Leah Thomas um, at the University of Pennsylvania, um, she had been on the boys' team uh, just a few years earlier. Um, I do not blame her. Um, she played within the rules, um, but she dominated. Uh, she had gone through male puberty. Her lungs are bigger. Her back's bigger. Her hands are bigger. She mm -hmm. just has a tremendous yeah. advantage in swimming in the pool against the women. And, yeah. you know, and she proved that. Um, so I don't have a problem with her. I have a problem with the NCAA um, uh, that we have to change the rules. Mm. Um, we have to do a better mm -hmm. job because yeah. the bottom line is w we have to keep it fair. And I don't want to ruin women's sports or discourage women from getting into sports because they think, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to compete against a bunch of guys. I mean, I, um, I totally it's agree. It's just not fair. I totally agree, Caitlin. But what I would also say is I don't want to. You guys, I wasn't expecting Caitlin Jenner to say what she just said. Being that she's a man that transitioned into a woman and I love the fact that she was very blunt and very, very fair with her answers. I didn't even expect it at all. And what she said is nothing but the truth. This is totally unfair to the women having men compete in their sport, thereby ruin everything that women's sport represent. And the fact that she said it is not Leah Thomas's fault, but the fault of the organization that allowed it. I totally applaud her for that. And let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you agree with Caitlyn Jenner on this? I absolutely agree with everything she has said so far. And leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let's continue watching you guys. What I would also say is I don't want to expose trans people 
to mockery, which is now going on with this debate because it looks so ridiculous. You see Leah Thomas just dominating women's sport. And I think that trans people who don't want to be part of any big angry debate about this want to go about their lives in peace and quiet and get on with it. I think they're being affected adversely by this debate. And it seems to me nobody's prepared to put the head over the parapet and go, look, this is clearly unfair and wrong. Here's how we're going to change things. If you were in charge of changing things to make it fair, what is the answer? Should trans women athletes, for example, compete against no. men? Should trans no. athletes have their own category now of competition, given there are more and more trans athletes? What's the answer? Well, here's, Pierce, here's, here's the problem we have here. This is a very, very complicated issue. <laughs> Just like being trans is very complicated. Right. <laughs> um, it's very, it's, there's, no right, there's no right answer here, Pierce. Um, if you just say, you know, no trans athletes, uh, you know, in sports, uh, well, what about female to male? Mm. They're trans. That's 49% mm. of the population. 51% wow. are male to female. Um, if we, what happens to the young uh, trans uh, athletes who's, who transitioned? Some of them, when they're five, six, seven years old, they take uh, hormone uh, blockers and they grow up as little girls their whole life. Mm. They have no advantage whatsoever, you know, over the other girls. And what do we do there? So it almost has to be treated on an individual basis. But I think the first thing we have to do is we, we have to make the qualifying for a trans athlete a little bit more difficult for them to be able to compete. Because I think the number one thing we have to do yeah. is protect women's sports. I mean, we what you never see, Caitlin, what you never line. see, you, you, you mentioned there people who transition from female to male, but you never see any issue there on the sporting side because they never have an unfair advantage. You know, the key point really about, I guess, yeah. trans women athletes is they have an unfair, natural, biological advantage. That's the nub of the problem. If they went through male yeah. puberty, yeah. you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. You guys, once again... I'll say I agree with what Caitlyn Jenner just said. Let's take, for example, a man that transitioned to a woman at a very late age who has gone through puberty and everything. That person can be said to be a man at a point in their life. And at this point, before they transition, they have the characteristics of a man. And just because they transition to a woman and start acting like a woman, not that they have gone through any form of surgery, that person can be classified as a man because he has everything that makes a person a man. But when a little boy transitioned into a girl at an early age, by taking the puberty blockers and stopping everything that will make him to develop into a man that kind of person can be allowed to participate in women's sports let me know what you guys think about this video and if you are opposing what Kate Jenner said in this video leave them in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys i went through male puberty okay i mean i don't even play i mean i play a lot of golf yeah and at, at our club i mean i play with the women a lot <laughs> by the way the women are a lot more fun to play with than the men, but the conversation's much better. But they always <laughs> ask, you know, say, hey, we've got a tournament coming up. Yeah, we've got a tournament coming up. You want to play with us? And, you know, when I'm there, I say, oh, well, that would be fun. But then I never show up. Why? Because it's just, honestly, it's, I don't, I would never want to take a trophy away from one of the other. I love the ladies at our club. They're wonderful. I wouldn't want to take, I can outdrive them by a hundred yards. Yeah, exactly. You know, and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just my arms are longer. Mm -hmm. I'm six one. Um, what I got left over is more than what most people ever had, <laughs> and so I, it just wouldn't be fair. Okay, yeah, so um, I, I, I don't play in that. I, I, and to I, be honest I, I, with you, Leah yeah. Thomas is. Go on. You know, honestly, Leah Thomas is one of the toughest, one of the hardest, uh, one of the worst yeah. things that happened to the trans community. Yeah, I agree. Because it's such bad publicity yeah i've met so many wonderful trans people doing wonderful things living their life authentically i hope leah thomas it's over for her now because she's out of out of college and i just hope she has a wonderful life um, being trans is not easy um 
and I hope she enjoys the rest of her life and has a good life. You know what, Caitlin? But we really, I, I complete, what I, Leah did is we need to look at the rules. I, I agree. Listen, I completely agree with you. Yeah. I, don't want, I don't want ill will to anyone involved in this debate. I just want fairness and equality. And I don't no. want women's, women's rights to be eroded at the altar of political correctness and a, a scaredness to have a debate. Caitlin, we've got to leave it there. It's been a brilliant uh, interview. Thank you. Come back soon. I'd love to talk to you again. I want you to regular guest. Always what do you my think? pleasure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. I, I think we'll have fun. It's Kaylin. really good. You got it. Lovely to talk to you. Caitlin Jenner. Wow, you guys, that was the most beautiful, fun, respectful interview I have ever watched on Piers Morgan. Caitlin Jenner is a very matured woman and I must give her a hat off for this. This was very, very interesting. I love her point of view. She spoke nothing but the fact and she was very blunt and very, very truthful. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I really had fun reacting to Piers Morgan. And you guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.